Gundam Seed fever is officially setting in. Hundreds of innocent Japanese families have all been hospitalized, as Gundam Seed freedom is taking Japan by storm. Opening on January 26th, the movie is already number one in the box office rankings in Japan, with over 650,000 tickets sold, $7.23 million in gross revenue made, and just over its first three-day weekend. So let's put this into perspective with Gundam specifically. Remember a few years ago when everyone else was freaking out about Hathaway's Flash making millions and millions of dollars and how it was the biggest deal ever? How it was going to compete with Char's Counterattack and it could surpass it? It's crazy! Yeah, Gundam Seed Freedom at this point in comparison has made over three times as much and three times as many ticket sales. Yeah, not to clown on Hathaway's Flash, great movie, but that just kind of puts things into perspective. With all that exciting news, of course there's going to be some more marketing push in order to get people into those theaters. A great example is a new trailer that came out only a couple days after the movie was in theaters, showcasing some of the new designs. Kira, Atherin, and Shin's new mobile suits. We have the Mighty Strike Freedom, the Infinite Justice Type 2, and what I believe is going to be called the Destiny Gundam Spec 2. Now, say what you will about these designs, I think they're supposed to be exactly the same mobile suit, or they're just recreated, I'm not 200% sure. But that being said, some of these new backpacks and pieces look kinda cool. Atherin, just slap as many beam sabers on that guy as you possibly can, and that's a, that's a great Atherin suit. Put him on his backpack, put him on his head, put him everywhere. Put him on his sunglasses, I don't know. Then Kira has a new backpack, but it seems like he's able to kind of swap it out with the old one, as we see him very briefly using the traditional Dragoon backpack, and then he switches to this new multi-winged one. Not sure what the functionality of that's going to be, but he does also have a sick katana. I assume it's going to be covered in some kind of anti-beam coating type of nonsense, Gerbera straight stuff, so it can interact with beam savers and whatnot without having to worry about it getting cut in half like Shins did. The new Infinite Justice and Strike Freedom are coming with their own new HG Gunpla, so if you're into that type of stuff, I'd look into that. Couple other small notes from this trailer, Kigali is actually piloting a mobile suit. I honestly did not think she was going to be doing anything in this movie. I thought they were going to shove her to the back like they did in Destiny, give us a couple looks at her, and then say no, that's enough. I assume she's going to be piloting some kind of new Akatsuki. We see in one of the earlier trailers, she has a book on her desk that says Akatsuki on it. Additionally, of course, we see the new Black Knight mobile suit, which is a white mobile suit, so no longer a Black Knight, he's now White Knighting. Probably for that little girl, I guess. Kind of weird. Then we get to see Kira offering Shin a little bit of reassurance, which is nice, considering that was kind of set up in Destiny. They were going to be working together, and they're going to be actually friendly towards each other. We also see Atherin and Kira literally throwing down, which... I don't know what Kira was expecting besides a fist to the face, considering Atherin literally threw Kigali like he was in some kind of cracked out WWE. Then of course we have a few other things that got mixed into that big final marketing push. We have the Rising Freedom Gundam getting added to Gundam Extreme vs. 2 Overboost. These titles are getting just a little bit out of control, as well as the new Lacus Klein design getting added as a navigator. And then this news is a little bit old, but the Freedom did also get added to Battle Operation 2. So if you're a big fan of that game, as well as Gundam Seed, that's probably a pretty big win for you, especially considering this is the first non-UC mobile suit that got added to that game, from my knowledge. So that's kind of important. And of course, there's also millions and millions of other different things from merchandise that they're coming out with. A great example are these towels. These towels are godforsaken. I don't know where they came from. I imagine somebody had a warehouse full of crappy towels, and then they thought to themselves, how in God's name do I sell these? They came to some kind of agreement where they put a little sticker on there, and now they're set to make millions of dollars on these god-awful towels. Whoever made these needs to send me some kind of written apology. And then everybody wants to watch the movie, but they don't seem to want to give us any information as to when people outside of Japan can see this. The only thing I've seen so far is that Australia is going to get it released on March 14th in their theaters, or probably highly specific theaters. So if you live there, that's great news for you, not so much for the rest of us. If you want to learn more about the movie, I do have a great video on screen here detailing everything else you need to know. I also do shorts for YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and so on. So you can find the links to all that type of stuff in the description too. And lastly, Consider checking out my Patreon. I don't make any money from this. It's awful.